Digital note-taking has always been on my mind, and being able to use Ctrl-F to find anything in my notes is extremely appealing. So I decided to test it out with the Lenovo Flex 6 2-in-1 laptop. Welcome to another review with Reviews for Life, and here's my experience with digital note-taking from the perspective of a computer engineer. Perhaps the biggest selling point for getting a two-in-one for school is the ability to take notes. But advertisers don't like to talk about the issues when using the device in tablet mode. The first problem I encountered was the extreme glare from the screen. Because you see, in almost all my classes, we had these super bright overhead fluorescent lights. When I laid the laptop flat against the desk in tablet mode, I would see these very bright reflections of the bulb due to the glossy surface. Cranking the brightness up to max helped a bit, but again, the reflections would still be there. So naturally, I tried the next logical thing, propping the laptop against the edge of the desk. It definitely helped with removing the reflections, but then it became hard to balance as I was writing. That's when I decided to upgrade and create a makeshift tablet stand, using my backpack and some books to place on top of the desk. As class progressed, I found my wrists getting sore from writing. It turns out I normally like to write with the paper slanted away from me. My wrists were actually being bent at a weird angle to accommodate for the vertical positioning of the tablet. So it became apparent that this solution wouldn't work. Another solution would be to use a matte screen protector. That might be able to fix this problem, but I never tried it, so I don't know. If you used one before, leave a comment and share your experience. Now, besides the glaring issue, <clears throat> the writing experience was also unsatisfying. Because my hands tended to sweat, the screen would become extremely grippy under my palm and prevented my hands from gliding smoothly. You can try this at home by wetting your hand with some water and trying to move it around on your phone screen. Of course, this problem can be resolved by simply using a drawing glove. Another issue is with the palm rejection. The only time it works is when the stylus isn't lifted off too high from the screen. I found that the accidental screen movement is quite common when moving my hands to the next line. This was very annoying, especially when I was in the flow. Finally, let's take a look at the pen experience. Since this is an active pen, it uses a quadruple A battery, which causes it to be quite heavy. This, combined with a narrow barrel, produces quite a bit of fingertip fatigue after just a few minutes. Now, if the pen was a bit wider, that would definitely help. Also, the stylus on glass experience leaves a lot to be desired. It's extremely slippery, which causes several unintended strokes. One of my initial concerns was how bad the screen smudges would get. Personally, I found it was quite tolerable since I was using a drawing glove most of the time. Now, let's talk about pricing. Since laptop prices vary wildly based on specs, I would only recommend a 2-in-1 laptop if it's equal to or less than the regular laptop counterpart. It's very hard to recommend a 2-in-1 laptop just for note-taking abilities. The glare on the screen combined with poor writing experience makes it a really tough sell. However, I did find the laptop to be extremely useful when reading PDFs, playing Hearthstone, or watching movies. If you thought this video was informative, or if it helped you decide on your next laptop, hit a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.